Hello everybody, welcome back for another video. I am back to you guys with another hygiene video. And this one, I feel like I am so freaking excited about. I could not wait to do an entire video dedicated to everything that makes me look, smell, and feel beautiful on a date. Essentially, I am in my dating era. Guys, it's cuffing season, okay? It's that time of year where we want to radiate and just kind of give off that energy that we are just well kept. I want to provide a few disclaimers before even getting into this video. If I see a comment like, why would I do all of this for a man? They don't even wash their ass when they go on a date with me. You need to start picking men who do clean themselves on dates okay if you don't want to lick this man from his toes to his neck respectfully when you are on a date with him because he smells so delicious then he's not the one baby you want to align yourself with someone who is just as hygienic as you and it's important that when we go on dates we make a good first impression that is a huge part of just taking such good care of yourself and practicing self-love i don't think that prepping yourself and getting yourself ready in a way that just provides an overall experience for the person that you're with is doing too much if anything is doing too little for me this is the standard i just want to let you guys know there's a lot here so we're going to get into it i want to just dive right in because it's going to take me a minute to get through each product let's just get into it don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you haven't already and follow me on instagram and on TikTok, and let's just get into the video. Okay, we're starting with prep. When I know I'm going on a date, especially if it's an important one, okay? Look, let's just say we're getting ready to go out with this like really successful guy in New York City. He's taking us to Carbone. Maybe is a true story, maybe isn't. And you know, he's sending you a car and you just want to step out looking your absolute finest and best, okay? This is how I be doing it. I do a night before prep, a day prep, and then the actual date night prep. What we're gonna do is if we're gonna be washing our hair, which I like to wash my hair before a date and I'll blow it out the day of just to have fresh, clean, new hair, unless it's raining. We're going in with Olaplex Bond Intense Moisture Mask. I will lather this all over over my hair and I let it sit. I actually like to mix this with another product and this one I believe is Priyanka Chopra's line and it's the Anomaly Bonding Treatment Mask. Guys, these together, holy grail. When I tell you guys that this has made my hair strong, beautiful, healthy, sometimes I will wash it out the night that I put it in. So let's just say I have a date on a Friday night, I will do this Thursday night and wash it out, or I will leave it in Thursday, sleep with a little like cap on, and then wash it out in the morning. It's either one, but I love these two together. Makes my hair just feel super healthy and ready for my wash. Now, when I start washing my hair, I actually just grabbed the conditioner, but I also have the matching shampoo. I use the Kenra Moisture Line. So my hairstylist actually put me onto this a while back and I've been obsessed with it ever since. She was like, Haley, you need to get into more higher end shampoos and conditioners. They're just better for your hair. And honestly, she was right. My hair type is so weird. I genuinely feel like I need my hair to be super clean when I get out of the shower. I don't like an ounce of residue on my hair. I don't like a film or a feeling because I know I'm going to be pressing my hair out. I don't want it to be greasy or weighed down. This line is perfect. So I'll use the shampoo, use the conditioner. It smells amazing. It will have your hair just smelling like fresh, clean hair. Oh my God. It just reminds me of stepping out of a salon. This man or woman, whoever you're going on a date with is going to think that you got a blowout in a professional salon that day if you guys use this shampoo. But you know, find whatever Kenra you like, like whatever line from the Kenra collection that you like. I just happen to like the moisture line. And if I'm feeling frisky, I will go in with the Moroccan Oil Intense Hydrating Mask. I will use the littlest amount of this. I'm talking a dime size amount of this. It smells. If anybody has ever used the Moroccan Oil line, then you already know what type of time we are on. I actually have another product from them that I'm gonna show you guys a little later, but I am obsessed with this. I have been using this for years. It is so rich and beautiful. If you have dry hair and you want it to just give a little bit of life, look a little shiny, this is perfect, but use the smallest amount if your hair is like mine and it gets weighed down in blowouts. So I will use the smallest amount after the Kenra and then boom, it will be smelling good. Your date is going to get a whiff of it and be like, 
damn, you smell amazing. I'm gonna be like, yeah, duh. Okay, something else for prep that is crucial for all of my girlies who get stress pimples, hormonal pimples, or just any type of pimple before a date. Y'all are gonna want this. This is the Murad Acne Control Rapid Relief Acne Spot Treatment. Okay, listen to me, ladies and gents. This you put on the night before on any pimple that is active and just inflamed. If you put this product on your face or wherever you have a pimple, sometimes I get them on my neck, and you put it on the night before, you will wake up the next day and it will be dried out and pretty much flat. I promise you, it's a miracle in a bottle. I swear to God. What I would suggest is to wash your face and exfoliate to kind of remove a layer of the skin, then go in with this right before you go to bed. I'm telling you, your pimple is going to shrivel up, be small and flat, and it will be easier to cover with makeup, or you might not even have one at all. But I have never appreciated a product more. I actually use the entire Murad Blue Line. I use their toner and their skin perfecting lotion and all of that, but this has really made a huge difference in my skin before a date, so I will never go on a date again with a giant knocker on my face because this will make sure that it doesn't happen. Okay, now we're gonna talk about getting into the shower. I'm going to share with you guys my favorite shower product. So. Not only is this my favorite shower product, but it's a product empty. I literally have none left. I had to get this out of my garbage can because I literally put it in there last night. So this is the Native Body Wash. It's sulfate-free, paraben-free, dye-free, and coconut vanilla. I love this because it's a very, I'm trying to like smell whatever's left in here, a very minor smell. It's just a very beautiful like, very light vanilla scent and I love the way it lathers on the body before a date. It just smells so good. It's a great body wash to just clean the body. You guys know me, the one thing that I do switch up often is my body washes. I like to just see what I like and this has been a favorite of mine because it's not too fragrant but it does have a little bit of a scent. And then right after I go in with my body wash, I will use the Necessaire Body Exfoliator in Eucalyptus. This is a game changer. For anyone who loves to exfoliate their body but you maybe hate the dryness or like the weird feeling of scooping out your exfoliant from like a small container, this will be your best friend because it screws off and you can squeeze it into your hand in the shower. Oh my God, not me getting it everywhere. But it's kind of a mixture of a body scrub and a body wash, if that makes sense. It has the granules in it. It smells insane. Like even me just opening that right now, it smells insane. I love the smell of eucalyptus. I don't know if they have other scents, but if they do and you don't like this scent, go and get it because this has been a game changer. I will put a ton of it in my hand, neck, shoulders, armpits, boobs, stomach, stretch marks on the hips, you know, upper V, legs, feet, and even the bottom of my feet. And when I tell you guys I am smoother than smooth, I feel so exfoliated. I feel like I have a Korean body scrub after using this. I know that's like really extra, but if you've ever had a Korean body scrub, you already know what's up. But like this is insane. It completely gives you a new layer of skin. You feel so soft to the touch and smooth and sexy, ready for a date night. And then directly after I use the body scrub, I use my absolute favorite product in like the entire world. This is the L'Occitane, 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 the L'Occitane en Provence, okay? This is their shower oil. Don't get me started. Please don't get me started on this shower oil. Not only have I been using this for years and have been putting you on for years, so if you don't already own this, then what are you even doing? But I don't think you guys understand what magic this does. You put the littlest amounts of this in your hands and you lather it just on your body right before you're about to completely get out of the shower and rinse off. You put it on, you know, get it nice and oiled onto the body to a quick rinse and boom. It's almost as if you wouldn't even need oil or lotion. Now I'm extra, so I'm gonna do oil and lotion anyways. But this right here will have you looking like a smooth ass car, okay? And I'm talking about an expensive car. I am obsessed with this Lossy Todd. Not only do I love the smell now, I think the scent is not for everybody, but it kind of gives me like grown woman baby powder vibes. I don't know, I just love the scent of this. It smells good to me and I just love this product. It's just something that is a magic in a bottle. I feel like not many brands have something like this. It's rare to find and it's rare to find a good one that doesn't break you out or make you feel weird. Pick this up if you want an overall glisten and a glow ready for date night. You want to just feel like not only is your lotion making you shine, but your skin itself out the shower is already shining. Out the shower, I am obsessed with this Dove Dry Spray Deodorant. First of all, this is the beauty finish one. I love this one the most. This one is like the top of my list for all the Dove Dry Sprays and then I think the Rose Petals one is like a 
close second, but I like this one because it dries down clear. So if you're wearing a black dress or whatever, it's not going to streak mark nothing. It also doesn't clump up on the pits, and I find that it is super long lasting. This deodorant, you could spray it on at 9 a.m., have a date at 8 p.m., and you're not gonna need to reapply, at least in my opinion. So this particular product is amazing, I love it. I am a huge Dove aerosol spray deodorant kind of girl. I have been for years, y'all know I've been obsessed, and other products just don't work for me. Sorry, not sorry, don't care. Um, I just always end up coming back to this. So this will be your tried and true for making sure that you smell hygienic right there, if you know what I'm saying. Now let's just say you're going on a date with your man or a guy that you're already seeing and you guys have already done the deed, if you know what I'm saying, okay? This right here is the truth. Now obviously, I don't think that you need to use this because you're getting laid. I'm just saying that I'm sure a lot of you guys who aren't getting laid would be mad that I was recommending this, but this is the ingrown hair treatment from the brand Anthony. I have been using this for about two years now. I'm obsessed, okay? I have gotten waxed, I have done laser, and I have shaved, okay? I use this no matter what era I am in. I'm just very sensitive down there. No matter what kind of hair removal I do, sometimes maybe I'll get like a little uh or a little uh, if you know what I'm saying. So I love having this and I just like to put it on that area to soothe it. A lot of the times I'm gonna shave right before the date if I'm getting which hasn't been in a long time. I'm just using this as a hypothetical. Let's just say I'm getting laid. I'm gonna shave, lotion, and then use this Anthony Ingrown Hair Treatment. It soothes the area and it helps prevent any ingrown hairs from happening. So it just keeps you extra secure down there if you want that area to look perfect. P perfect, okay? And also the fur oil I love as well. I don't have that product in this particular hygiene haul, but I love the fur oil as well. So use this first and then use like a drop of fur oil and boom, you're good to go. And speaking of fur, I actually like to take their washcloths with me on my dates because just in case I'm going to the bathroom and I wanna wipe, I just don't like using just toilet paper. So having a washcloth to cleanse the area is just amazing and I absolutely love these. They're just so good to have and they're easy to just keep in a purse so it's perfect to have with you on a date. So you can just cleanse the area after using the bathroom and boom. You're all good. Now, a little oral hygiene check. Of course, you want to brush your teeth and floss and water pick, okay? That is a non-negotiable. But this right here is important in this video for hygiene for a first date because this lasts, okay? This lasts. Y'all hear me? You guys mouthwash with this at 7 p.m. and you're about to see your date at 8.30, you're gonna still have this lingering in your mouth. This is the TheraBreath Oral Rinse Invigorating Icy Mint. I love this mouthwash. I like to just swish it in my mouth right before I go just to get that freshness. And I don't love chewing gum on a date. I just don't love it. It's just not my thing. So just to have this in the mouth after already doing my cleansing routine, this is a hygiene must have. I love TheraBreath. I feel like they're the best mouthwash on the market. Do I like Listerine's flavor better? Kind of, but I don't find that it lasts. This lasts, okay, this really does. So I'm just letting you know, you are not, and they have other flavors as well. This is my absolute favorite, but get whichever one you like the best. I just like this one. Okay, before we get into skin prep and a little bit of hair products, I wanna go over my top fragrances. So. I've been on a few dates recently and I have narrowed down, cause you guys know I wear a whole lot of perfume. I got a whole cabinet back there. I have narrowed down the perfumes that have been complimented the most by my dates and also people in the restaurant. So if I walk in, somebody will go, oh my God, you smell so good. I make sure to write in my phone that day what perfume it was so I can share it with you guys. I narrowed it down to four different fragrances and one of them is quite affordable. So. I do, and I will preface this by saying, I never wear one perfume. I mix all my fragrances, but usually I can tell which fragrance somebody is talking about when they compliment my fragrances and say, oh, it smells peppery, or oh, that smells very sultry, or oh, that's very deep smelling. I'll know exactly what they're talking about. So I've narrowed it down. First one, and I didn't think that this was gonna be a favorite, but it is. I don't need a prince by my side to be a princess. This is a Killian fragrance. I'm obsessed. I will put the notes on the screen. Guys, this is a great first date fragrance. 
honestly. It's very strong. It's giving grown woman. Not everybody's gonna like this scent, but I absolutely adore it. And I find that it is very favored on dates. I have gotten so many compliments wearing this and it's just sexy. I actually like this paired with Baccarat. It smells really nice with that. And it's just a really great long lasting fragrance that everyone could have in their collection. The next one is a very controversial fragrance, at least in my opinion, because not everybody's gonna love this scent. I absolutely love it. As you guys can see, I pretty much used more than half of it. And it is complimented probably the most when I go out or when I go on a date, literally. This is MFK Grand Soir. Guys, it is a very deep, kind of masculine fragrance, dare I say. It smells very good paired with something more sweet, but this fragrance will last on you all night. I'm talking, put it on the back of your neck, in your inner arm, behind your leg, and on maybe like your dress or like your inner dress. And I'm telling you, you're gonna smell amazing all night. I'm obsessed with Grand Soir. It's just, it's a deep, sexy, sultry scent. It's giving sensual, it's giving, let me bring my voice down a little bit and talk to you, honey. I'm wearing Grand Soir tonight. I think it's just a really great fragrance. It's giving sensual, sexy, magnetizing, Marilyn Monroe vibes. That's how I feel about this. Amazing fragrance, you guys are going to love it. Okay, the next fragrance is a new, kind of newish perfume to my collection. I already knew when I bought this that everybody was gonna love it. It was gonna be a crowd pleaser, okay? And this is the Initio Paragon. Mm. Okay, I can't go anywhere without somebody obsessing over this scent. There is not a person on this planet that has met me wearing this fragrance I didn't say. Holy shit, what are you wearing? Initio Paragon. It smells good, it's a peppery scent. It's perfect for a date. It's something that a man or a woman, if they go on a date with you, will not notice on other people because not many people own this fragrance. It's nice to have a fragrance that doesn't remind you know a person of who they once dated. Not that we're trying to be different or anything, but I just like to be unique in a way where my fragrances tell a story about me and it's just a, a particular scent that screams, oh, this is a Haley Gamba fragrance, okay? This is this is Haley Gabrielle. This is, she's leaving her scent with me forever. Initio Paragon is one of those scents. I love it. Again, pair it with something that complements it. If you guys have to learn how to pair your fragrances, just do a spritz here, a spritz there, and go out and see how it's received. Also, spray it on your wrist. Maybe like pre-spray two different fragrances on your wrist, mix them together, and smell them throughout the day and see how they smell together. That is how you kind of see what works with what. I tend to just know what fragrances to pair with others based off of just putting perfume on every day and knowing what is received and what is mostly sticking out in a crowd. So love Initio Paragon, very expensive, but very worth it. Okay, you'd be surprised to know that this is actually something that I get compliments on all the time and it's Vanilla Woods by Seven Virtues. This is a very beautiful fragrance if you like vanilla scents. People love this on me. It's not something that I always reach for on dates because I like to go for my more deeper scents, but when I do reach for this, let's just say, it is a crowd pleaser. People love it. It smells really good. It's a perfect vanilla scent. I do also like my Atelier Cologne Vanille and Sensei. That is also another great vanilla scent, but this one is more affordable, so I wanted to include it in the haul because I'm just trying to be mindful of your guys' budget. I find that this fragrance is very sexy. It kind of has a day to night vibe to it. This can be worn at night and in the daytime. It's not something that is designated for any particular time of day, which I love, but it is very long lasting and it's super great mixed with other fragrances. So definitely pick this up if you guys like vanilla scents because again, a lot of people love it. Now a hygiene tip I wanna give you guys is to use perfume oil as your base before you spritz yourself. So I have Egyptian musk in front of me, but you guys can get whatever perfume oil you guys like. There's also like aphrodisiac ones, pheromone, that you can buy on Amazon. This, you just put it wherever. It smells amazing and it lasts on the skin. There's nothing like perfume oil. A little pro tip that I have for you guys that I have been doing for years to leave my scent behind is you just take a little bit of this perfume oil or whatever spritz you're wearing that night and spray it under that man's seat in his car or put it somewhere, all right? Put it in his sheets, on his pillow, wherever. I don't care where you are. You want him to smell you and not know where the fuck you put it to where he can't 
find the scent, okay? That was something that Shira said. I remember for years I have been spritzing my perfume like in their car just to leave my scent behind, but she said, put it somewhere where they can't clean it out. And I loved that tip. So nothing like a perfume oil, okay, baby girl? Okay, let me speed the remainder of this along because this video is getting super long at this point. We have the Moroccan Oil Body Serum, okay? I use this on my legs before a date. I find that this one is the most non-greasy and it doesn't transfer in the vehicle. So if you are going in this person's car or you're just worried about getting it somewhere, this is the best dry down oil that still leaves a sheen and it smells amazing. So this is my absolute favorite for that. But I also really love guys, the Osea body oil. This one is probably one of my favorites. I love the smell. It is a little heavy. I tend to put this mostly on my decollete arms and anywhere where I'm showing some skin, maybe won't do my legs, but sometimes I will, I don't care. So I love both of these products. They're just amazing for an overall oil on the body to create shine. You guys always ask me what I use on my skin to create shine. This is it guys, this is what I use in every video. And fresh out the shower, what I like to do is the Maley's Relore Tight and Tone Body Serum. I'm obsessed with this at the moment. I literally just got it, but I already am obsessed with it. Not only does it smell amazing, but I love how it feels on the skin. It's a very light body serum that you massage this into the skin. It apparently tones and firms the body. I haven't seen that yet because I literally just started using it, but I like the way it feels and looks on the skin and it is perfect for a date night. It makes you look amazing. So if you're not a huge lotion person, get this. It's pretty much like putting lotion on the skin and I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I love lotion, I love body oil, I love anything, like a serum. But I tend to reach more for things like this on a date night rather than a heavy creamy lotion unless it becomes super cold and we get like that winter month where we get a little bit more chapped. But this is perfect for the fall season, so I'm in love. Now you guys always ask me, and this is like a huge one, I've talked about this in a million videos, but I'm re-talking about it today because you guys always ask me, what is on your chest, Haley? How does your chest look so smooth? It always looks perfect. And the reason why is because I use this Vita Liberata Body Blur in Latte Dark. I have been using this for years, guys. It's pretty much empty at this point. I literally take it with a brush. I don't even know where my brush is that I use, but I swirl it onto my chest. If you guys want a full decolletage routine, I could show it to you, but I use this. Now, what I will say is if you have very sensitive skin, I really wanna make sure that when you get home from your date, you wash this off your body because you will wake up the next day with pimples on your chest and your back. I'm warning you now. You do not want to sleep in body makeup. This is essentially body makeup. It's not super full coverage like a foundation or anything, but it definitely has pigment to it. So you wanna be careful. I love this because it smooths out my skin. It makes everything look even and it makes everything glow, which I absolutely love. And this is what I use pretty much every time I go on a date. And I always get compliments from my date like, damn, your skin is so perfect, my God. And I'm like, mm, yeah, thank you. Woof, guys, oh my God, that was a lot. That was a mouthful of products. I really love all of these things. I'm not playing games. I love everything I shouted out, so please pick them up. Anything that resonated with you that you need for a date night, please get it. Let me know down below what your favorite go-to fragrances for a date night, I would love to hear. But yeah, those four fragrances lately have been really making the cut, so they're gonna stay for a little bit. But I'm about to go perfume shopping in a couple days because I'm due, so maybe we're gonna be talking about new fragrances real soon. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video as much as I enjoyed making it, and uh, yeah, let's just like stick out and be sexy on our first dates. Or second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, hell, a hundredth. We always wanna look and feel our best no matter how many dates it's been. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye everyone. Mwah.